time to go to Rewind, which is what we do on this show. Occasionally, we will tell you the movies that came out 10 years ago today and 20 years ago today. As Campy likes to say, it's the We All Feel Old segment. So, Sinead, what came out a decade and two decades ago this week? All right. Well, celebrating its 10th birthday is Waiting, Two for the Money and In Her Shoes, and celebrating 20 years, Assassins, Dead Presidents, and How to Make an American Quilt. Okay, so Christian, when you see the decade-old yeah. movies, when mm-hmm. you see You're Waiting, you see The Two for the Money and In Her Shoes, which one of those strikes you? Strangely enough, Waiting, and I didn't like it when I first saw it. You were great in that movie. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and you <laughs> son of a... Um, the, the movie itself, it, I worked in a restaurant a couple times, so it was, it, was, yeah. it was pretty accurate. Do you care to say which restaurant? Um, I worked at the Olive Garden at one point. Or Did C- you really? I worked at CPK, and I worked at the Stinkin' Rose, which is a California-based It's restaurant. a good place. But you yeah. will smell like garlic for a week after. And I was as good as anyone in this movie because they're all terrible. <laughs> uh, and I was pretty terrible as a waiter. Um, that being said, it was it was kind of it was a smaller comedy. It had comedic talent mm-hmm. that you had Justin Long. You hadn't really seen a lot of these guys step up and do anything yet. Ryan Reynolds as well. Ryan Reynolds. Um, so it, it's it's a it's a pretty. There are some funny gags in that movie for sure. Um, the other the other one that um, popped was the ten the ten year one was waiting. Two yeah, for two the money. Two for the money. Two for the money. I remember being really disappointed with that film because I'm a Pacino guy. So to have Pacino and McConaughey in a movie together, gambling, I thought it was going to be one of those movies that you just remember forever, and it's it's forgettable. When Two for the <laughs> Money came out, I saw an ad for it, and I didn't even Redbox wasn't even a thing yet, but in my head, that screamed Redbox to me, where yeah. this is not something that you rush out to the theater blockbuster to special. pay money to see. It is such a rental, and you can have an entertaining good time with it, but it is not a good movie by any right. stretch of the imagination. Neither is Waiting, for that matter. I never saw it in her shoes. Waiting was something that I was really excited to see, because as a youth, I was a huge Dane Cook fan. I still am. I love his stand up and seeing that he was going to make the transition into acting I was like oh I wonder what he's going to bring to the table and I and Ryan Reynolds is completely he completely owns that movie Justin yeah. Long's fine in it too Dane Cook has a smaller part Luis Guzman has a smaller part David Kettner's hilarious in the movie itself together as a as a united piece isn't that great mm. but if you've ever dined at like an Applebee's which I have on multiple occasions last even night by daily, I will eat at a corporate <laughs> restaurant. This movie can give you some pause. I will tell you, though, the 20-year ones, for me, I still, I, I don't care how dated it is, Assassins, I love it. Um, see, I don't remember, my, I, I remember getting excited to see Assassins yeah. because you had Antonio Banderas, fresh off of Desperado, which yeah. I loved, and Sylvester Stallone, Stallone is Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. So you're going into that, and you're like, oh, I can't wait to see these guys duel. And I remember being bored in the theater. Really? Yeah. Oh, man, I loved it. And it was the first time you really see Julianne Moore. Uh, in that film right. as well too. That was the first time I remember. Every time I see Julianne Moore, still I remember her from Assassins. But you know, and a lot of people don't realize that the Wachowski brothers wrote the initial draft, and they they actually wanted to take their names off the script because they didn't like the finished version of it. But I just thought it was really funny, silly, f- fun. It was it was just it was it was one of those movies. I really it, it proved that Antonio Banderas could hang with Stallone at the time too because he, Stallone was. Stallone, like you said, and so I, I, I think that it's one of those movies you go back. It is dated, but it's still a lot of fun. And then Dead Presidents, right? I saw that one in the theater. Remember, and I saw Dwight Gooden there. I remember that. I remember. You saw. I, you I saw met Dwight Gooden. Doctor K. I met Dwight Gooden during when I saw that movie. But that's that's another one to me that I don't know if it'll hold up now. But at the time, it was pretty intense, and I, it was, yeah, it was it was pretty raw. See, I think Dead Presidents is actually a little underrated because when the Hughes brothers who made Menace to Society in 93, and that that, that put them on the map right. so hard then, that it's tough to follow up something like Menace to Society, which is such a gut punch. So Dead Presidents didn't do that, but it is a very watchable, engaging movie. And I remember actually, we now, I, now that I'm thinking about it, me and two of my buddies went to go see Assassins on opening night, mm. and my mom and my sister went to go see How to Make an American Oh, really? Oh, I've right. never seen that movie, but my mom and my sister had good things to say about it. Danny Elfman, I believe, does the end score or a lot of the score for dead presidents and there's the the end when they rob the bank it's it's if you look it up it's it's an incredible intense piece of music to this day every time i get a hundred dollar bill i call it a dead president uh Sinead, any of those movies that you remember you were probably born right around the time that, it came, that have you seen any of that presidents came out um i have not seen one ah. of those movies All right. um no <laughs> literally no <laughs> Well, I, thanks like, for trying. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, there's there have been a few, especially in the past couple weeks, but legitimately have never seen. Well, out of the ones that we one. talked about, though, do, do any of those sound interesting to you that you'd want to say? And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, in my head, I'm gonna guess the one that you're saying, and okay. you do the same. It's like the newlywed game. Yeah. 
Are you guys thinking waiting? Nope. Really? No, I, I actually, th- I think you would enjoy it. That's not the one I'm picking, though. Um, uh, well, I would have said waiting, so I don't know. No? All right. I was going to for the money. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I was going the quilt movie. It's got McConaughey in it, man. <laughs> yeah. Girls love movie. McConaughey, right. and guys can love him, too.